Look, I want to go no prayer me. Big Julie, you give your maca, and if you welch, it will cause me no little embarrassment. I hope you do not wish to cause me embarrassment. But if it ever gets back to Chicago, then I went to a prayer meeting. No decent person will talk to me. All right, you gave your marker to Sky, we gotta go, all right? We made a deal, we gotta go. Adelaide! Oh, what a coincidence. Adelaide, didn't I nicely explain to you about tonight? I hope you ain't sore about it. Please, let us not have a vulgar scene. After all, we are civilized people. We do not need to conduct ourselves like a slob. Adelaide, what is this? You're my doll. Your doll? Please, if that weren't so amusing, one could laugh at it. <laughs> Adelaide, how could you carry on like this over one lousy elopement? It is no use, Nathan. I have succeeded in your not being able to upset me no more. I have gotten you completely out of my... It's you! me again. I can't stand it. We're gonna get married. We're gonna have a little white house and a green fence, just like the Whitney colors. Oh, but Nathan, we gotta do it soon. I had another letter from my mother today asking a lot of questions and, well, she wrote a letter for you too. A letter from your mother? For me? Well. My dear son, Nathan, this is my first letter to you, although you've been married to my daughter for 12 years. But it, I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters. And in my mind's eye, I can see you every morning as you walk down to work at 7. What a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an a and I'm not even a manager? I was going to promote you for Christmas. <clears throat> I know how hard you have to work to take care of Adelaide, the five kids, and the one that's on the way. Mother wanted me to visit her. I had to tell her that. Don't you know I can't take care of six kids and what they pay me at the a &P? I'm proud to have you as a son-in-law. You're a good man, Nathan, and I know you'll always take care of Adelaide. I feel like a heel! Look, Nathan, darling, we can still make everything all right. After all, it's not even midnight yet. Look, five minutes to 12. Let's elope right now. Okay, Adelaide. Come on, Nathan, or we're gonna be late. Come on! No, I can't. Nathan. Why can't we elope right now? Because, well, I gotta go to a prayer meeting. Oh. Nathan, this is the biggest lie you have ever told me! But I promise you it's true. You promised me this, you promised me that, you promised me anything under the sun that you gave me and kissed me your brand new hat. You're all so crazy to get away to the sun.
now several minutes past midnight. Isn't anyone coming? Sergeant Sarah, something is very wrong. Or maybe your watch is fast. I know what's wrong. I'm wrong. I failed. I've spoken to these people day after day, but my words haven't reached them. I think you Welcome, to... brother. Welcome. Is everybody here? Was Nathan Detroit? Present! Here you are, Miss Sarah. One dozen or more uh, assorted sinners. Sorry we didn't have time to clean them. I want you gentlemen sit down. Hello. Hey, sit down, all of you. Welcome to the Save a Soul Mission. One moment. Guys, this is a mission, not Roseland. I suggest you do not indulge in any unpleasantness while here. Since I am forced to depart to points west tonight, I am promoting Nathan Detroit to Major Domo in my place. Nathan, if anybody does not conduct themselves according to Hoyle, they will have to deal with Sky Masterson personally. And that means in person. What a remarkable young man. So remember that, you guys. Brother Abernathy, your dice. Tonight, we are honored. Our meeting will be led by the head of our organization, General Cartwright. It is so wonderful to see our mission graced by the presence of so many evil-looking sinners. Now, who would like to testify? Who would like to start the ball rolling by giving testimony? Benny, give testimony. I ain't no stool pigeon. Come, brothers, I know it is difficult, but let one of you give testimony to the sin that is in his heart. Benny, tell him what a bum you are. Well, I, uh, used to be sort of a bad guy and a gambler, but I ain't gonna do it no more. I thank you. There, don't you feel better? I'm all right. Anybody else? Big Julie. I used to be bad when I was a kid, but ever since then I've gone straight, as I can prove by my record of 33 arrests, no convictions. Harry. Oh no. Harry the horse. <clears throat> you see, when Sky rolled us for our souls, I was I hoping- I beg your pardon? Sky Masterson, he rolled us $1,000 for our souls. That's why we're here right now. I don't think I understand. I do, General. He means that they are only here because Mr. Masterson won them in a dice game. How wonderful! This whole meeting, the results of gambling. It shows how good can come from evil. Sergeant Sarah, you have done remarkable work. Hasn't she, though? Thank you. Hey, I ain't finished with my testimony. My sin is that when Sky rolled us, I was wishing I'd get the thousand dollars instead of having to come here. But now that I'm here, I still wish it. Anybody else? We will now hear testimony from Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. Get up, you fat water buffalo! Well, it, uh, is happening to be kind of funny. Like in a dream. That's it! A dream! Tell us, in your own words. I dreamed last night. I got on the boat to heaven. And by some chance, I had run my dice.
Is there anything we could do for you, Brother Brannigan? Perhaps you can uh, testify? I will do my testifying in court, where I will testify that you ran a crap game in this mission last night. Sarah, you were here when they came in. You saw them. Aren't these the fellows? I never saw them before in my life. There's a right broad. <laughs> now, officer, if you wouldn't mind, we'd like to go on with our meeting. I never saw crap shooters spend so much time in a mission. Maybe that's what they mean by holy rollers. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sarah. People, I also have a confession to make, and I gotta get it off my chest. We did shoot crap here last night, and we're very sorry about it. Hey, we fellas? Yeah. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I did another terrible thing. I made a bet with a certain guy that he could not take a certain dollar on a trip. And this I should not have done. Although it didn't do any harm, seeing as I won the bet. You won the bet? Sure, the guy told me he didn't take the da. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. Whew. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> we will now sing song number 244, Follow the Fold. Thank you. 